Luke Leatherman with Feeling Parts showcasing our cam plate pressure test tool. This tool allows the engine builder to pressure test the cam plates prior to installation so you know exactly what's going on with the oil pressure. Uh, we find that majority of twin cam engine oil pressure problems are related to a faulty and leaky uh, pressure relief valve. An engine that has 510 PSI at a hot idle, uh, if the valve was seated and sealed, quite possibly could have upwards of 20, 25, maybe 30 PSI at a hot idle. The pressure test tool includes the plate, gauge, and regulator. You need to supply the fitting to plumb your shop air to it. You run both the cam plate up to the tool. The tool fits both the 99 to 06 and 07 to 17 fitment, so it fits both twin cam cam plates. We're going to clamp it into a vise. We're going to hook the shop air up to it. And we're going to measure, we're going to open up the regulator, and we're going to see if the valve is seated and sealed. This is a factory cam plate out of an engine build. And you can hear right now, the valve is already leaking. And that means when this bike is at lower RPM that you're going to be at a loss of oil pressure because that valve is not seated and sealed. We like to see the valve seated and sealed to 30, 35 PSI at the lowest with full pop off around 55 to 60 PSI. You can see that this cam plate is full pop off around 40 PSI. So what I'm going to do is show you the steps to seat and seal the relief valve. This is another tool that we sell. Makes it nice and easy to remove the roll pin and spring from the cam plate versus using screwdrivers, which majority of the time uh, score up the board. You need a eighth inch pin punch. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna inspect the plunger for debris we're going to check out the bore, put the plunger back down in there. We've got a punch that fits in the back of the plunger nicely. And what we're going to do is turn the air up just slightly. We're going to lift the plunger off the seat and then we're going to give it a crack with a hammer. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and give it another small crack and that'll create a new seat with the hardened steel plunger against the aluminum cam plate. going to reinstall the spring and so that we don't have to reinstall the roll pin to see where we're at we're just going to use the roll pin punch to hold it you can see now we raised the full pop off pressure but you can hear it's still leaking down low although it's better than the previous one it's still leaking the next step what we would like to do Another tool that we sell is a reamer, so we can go down into the bore, square off the shelf in the bottom, and then go through that process one more time. And so what we would do is hook the uh, reamer up into a standard drill. You can use the air pressure to blow the plunger back out. One thing that we like to do is you want to make sure you've got the air on, which will help blow the shavings out of the cam plate while you're using the reamer. And we're going to repeat the process with the plunger, tapping it with the punch and the hammer. And like I said, we'd like to see the valve seated and sealed from 0 to 30 PSI at a minimum with full pop off in the range of 55 to 60 PSI. So you've seen us ream the factory cam plate here that we're testing with the fueling reamer. We've installed the fueling pressure relief valve itself and the spring. We have a kit that includes the valve, spring, and roll pin. And I'm going to show you now that the cam plate is now seated and sealed with a full pop-off in the range of 55 to 60 PSI.